Greetings world. We are anonymous. In disturbing news. Ongoing strikes by the terrorists Israeli forces, encompassing a varial, land, and maritime bombardment across the Gaza Strip. These attacks results in civilian casualties, displacement and the destruction of residential structures and essential civilian infrastructure. The terrorists' Israeli ground offensive continues to expand, particularly in the southern regions of Gaza City, and eastern Rafah, notably, around the Kerem Abu Salem, Kerem Shalom, and Rafah crossings. Families that have been already displaced several times, are on the move again due to the illegal operations and the terrorists' Israeli evacuation orders. As of 22nd of May 2024, the estimated number of people displaced from Rafah amounts to over 800,000 people since the 6th of May 2024, with a further 100,000 people displaced in northern Gaza. Most UNRWA shelters in Rafah have been vacated, with internally displaced people moving to Khan Yunis and Deir al-Bala. Overall displacement numbers correlate with the UNRWA registration figures in the new locations, for example, nearly 150,000 people have registered for essential services for UNRWA in Khan Yunis alone, in these recent days. On 18 May 2024, the UNRWA Commissioner General posted on his official X account, highlighting the dire situation facing Palestinians who have been forced to flee since the terrorists' Israeli forces started their so-called military genocidal operation in parts of Rafah on 6 May 2024. As a result of the ongoing illegal military operation in eastern Rafah, the UNRWA distribution center and the warehouse, both in Rafah, are now inaccessible. Food distributions in Rafah are currently suspended due to lack of supplies and insecurity. The current terrorists' Israeli military operation in Rafah, is directly impacting the ability of aid agencies to bring critical humanitarian supplies into Gaza. The terrorists' Israeli offensive in Gaza's southern city, has been disrupting the movement of humanitarian aid. On Monday 20 May 2024, the terrorists' Israeli forces, renewed attacks in central Gaza, bombarding towns in the north of the enclave, and declaring that it would broaden its operations in Rafah, despite international warnings of a risk of mass casualties in the densely populated city. On Tuesday 21 May 2024, the terrorists' Israeli forces raided the West Bank city of Jenin, killing seven Palestinians, including a doctor. According to an UNRWA post on X, only seven out of its 24 health centers are barely operational. The UN agency said it had not received any medical supplies in these recent days due to closures and disruptions at the Rafah and Kerem Shalom crossings into Gaza. We desperately need a safe passage, not just for humanitarian supplies, but also for humanitarian personnel. United Nation officials have been sounding the alarm over aid distribution issues, declaring that there is still not enough to avoid mass hunger and famine in Gaza, and pointing to multiple difficulties in getting aid to where it is needed. We are anonymous. We are the collective. We do not forgive. We do not forget to the corrupt corporate paid United States government, because of your ignorant ways, especially allowing Israel to indiscriminately bomb the innocent people of Gaza, Rafah, and the indigenous people that are Palestinian, by vetoing the ceasefire four times in the United Nations, the deaths of the innocent children, are very much in your hands. We declare that the corrupt corporate paid United States government, are no longer fit, to help any country, period. To all great countries of our planet, please find any possible way to stop this dictator from Israel before he eradicates the innocent people in Gaza, Rafah, and the innocent children of Palestine. Please. We are calling on all of the international community to help them.